Let's kick things off with a legendary story, a tale that perfectly encapsulates the early days of cryptocurrency and its, shall we say, volatile value. It's a story that involves a programmer, a craving for pizza, and a digital currency that would later skyrocket in value beyond anyone's wildest dreams. Back in 2010, when Bitcoin was still in its infancy, a programmer named Laszlo Hanyac made a now infamous purchase. He bought two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoin. At the time, this seemed like a reasonable transaction. But here's the kicker. That amount of Bitcoin is now worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Imagine paying for a simple meal with a fortune. What was once traded for a couple of large pies, enough to feed a small gathering, could now buy you a fleet of luxury cars, several mansions, or even a private island. This moment wasn't just about pizza. It wasn't just a simple transaction between two parties. It was the first documented real-world Bitcoin transaction, a symbolic moment that legitimized the then nascent cryptocurrency in the eyes of many. And it sparked the wild dreams and fervent hopes that continue to fuel the crypto craze to this day, the idea that anyone could strike it rich with digital currencies. The core idea, you could mine digital money from the comfort of your own home and maybe just maybe get rich beyond your wildest dreams. But behind the hype, the promises of easy riches lies a complex and often misunderstood process called mining. A process often surrounded by myths, widespread confusion and unfortunately, a whole lot of bad advice that can lead you astray. Some see it as a golden ticket, a guaranteed path to untold wealth and financial freedom. Others view it with concern, highlighting its potential as an environmental disaster due to its high energy consumption. The truth, as is often the case, is far more nuanced. It's complicated, highly competitive, and definitely not nearly as magical or straightforward as it often sounds. Tonight, we're digging deep into what crypto mining really is, peeling back the layers of hype and misinformation to reveal the underlying reality. And we'll explore why knowing the unvarnished facts about crypto mining might just save you from making a decision you'll later regret, like trading your financial future for the fleeting satisfaction of a couple of pizzas. Our goal is to separate the digital gold, the genuine opportunities, from the digital garbage, the scams and misleading promises that litter the crypto landscape. So, what in the digital dickens is crypto mining anyway? It's a term you've probably heard thrown around, often associated with complex technology and futuristic finance. But at its core, the concept is surprisingly straightforward. Imagine a global ledger, like a public Google Doc, accessible to anyone, anywhere in the world. This ledger is the backbone of most cryptocurrencies. It's a record of everything, where every single Bitcoin transaction, from the smallest to the largest, is permanently recorded. But here's the crucial question. Who gets to update it? Who verifies these transactions and adds them to the ledger? That's precisely where miners come in. They are the unsung heroes of the crypto world. They compete against each other to solve a tough math puzzle, a complex computational problem that requires significant processing power. The first miner to solve it gets the privilege of adding a new block of transactions to the blockchain, thereby updating the global ledger. And as a reward for their efforts, they earn newly minted coins. It's an incentive system that keeps the network running. It's not about cleverness or ingenuity. It's largely about brute force guessing, trying millions upon millions of combinations. Their computers are essentially rolling the dice millions of times per second, hoping to hit the jackpot. Mining not only secures the network by verifying transactions, but it also creates new coins, introducing them into the circulating supply. In essence, it's really a global lottery, a high-stakes game of chance powered by a vast network of computers. The entire process is formally called proof-of-work, a mechanism designed to ensure the integrity of the blockchain. You prove that your computer has done the necessary computational work, and in return, you might just win the cryptocurrency prize. In a way, miners are the accountants, meticulously verifying and recording transactions. They also act as security guards, protecting the network from fraudulent activities and ensuring its stability. And finally, they function as a digital mint, creating new currency and injecting it into the ecosystem all in one. So it's not magic, just decentralized bookkeeping with a twist, a competitive incentivized system that keeps the blockchain secure and up to date. But this complex system has unfortunately led to some wild myths and widespread misunderstandings about what crypto mining really is. So let's take a moment to bust a few of these common misconceptions and shed some light on the realities of crypto mining. Here's the myth. Plug in a computer, click a button and watch the money roll in. Reality check, those days are long gone. 
Early miners could strike it rich with a home PC, but now you're up against massive corporations with warehouses full of specialized machines. The costs, sky-high hardware, electricity bills that could power a small town, and constant upgrades. For most, mining is a money pit, not a gold mine. The odds of getting rich are about the same as winning the lottery. The get-rich-quick boat sailed years ago. Today it's more likely to sink your savings than make you a millionaire. For most people, the vending machine is out of order. Another myth mining is easy. Just set it and forget it. In reality, it's a technical marathon. You need custom hardware, complex software, and constant troubleshooting. Machines run 24 7 generate massive heat, and need serious cooling. You'll join mining pools, manage payouts, and battle endless errors. It's a full-time job. Part engineer, part IT, part HVAC tech. Your cat would nap on the graphics card and overheat the whole thing. Passive income, more like active chaos. Let's talk about the environmental impact of cryptocurrency mining. It's a topic filled with complexities and often some pretty alarming headlines. We need to dive into the details to understand the true scope of the issue. Bitcoin mining in particular uses a staggering amount of electricity. More electricity than some entire countries consume annually. And I'm not using hyperbole here. No exaggeration. The energy consumption is genuinely immense. The proof-of-work system, which underpins Bitcoin, rewards whoever can burn through the most energy the fastest in solving complex mathematical problems. It's a race against time and resources. Unfortunately, much of that power comes from fossil fuels, especially in places where you find cheap and often dirty energy sources readily available. This creates a significant environmental challenge. Yes, this reliance on fossil fuels directly contributes to increased carbon emissions and accelerates the effects of climate change, but the story isn't all doom because miners are constantly on the hunt for the cheapest power sources they can find, often tapping into stranded renewables that would otherwise go unused. Think of remote hydro facilities or locations with excess wind generation capacity. Furthermore, some newer cryptocurrencies are embracing proof of stake, which slashes overall energy use by an incredible amount, over 99% in many cases. Ethereum, for example, has already successfully made the switch to proof-of-stake. So, while Bitcoin's significant energy use remains a real and pressing problem, it's important to remember that not all crypto is created equally, and certainly not all crypto is equally dirty. The cryptocurrency industry is constantly evolving and innovating, and the overall narrative surrounding its environmental impact is far more complex than simply stating crypto equals climate villain. It's a real issue that demands attention and careful consideration, but it's not a simple one with easy answers. We need a nuanced perspective to understand the full picture. So, what have we learned? The pizza story is a lesson in hype and regret. Mining isn't magic, it's a global guessing game that's expensive, competitive and energy hungry. Myth 1, get rich quick, false. For most, it's a fast track to debt. Myth 2, mining is easy, also false. It's a technical full-time grind. Myth 3, all mining is evil, not quite. Bitcoin's energy use is a problem, but the industry is shifting to greener methods. Next time someone pitches you crypto mining as a shortcut to wealth, you'll know better. It's not a money machine. It's a costly, complex process. The real secret? There is no secret. Just math, machines and a lot of hype. And knowing that is worth more than any coin you'll ever mine.